What's up everybody? Today we're going to be comparing the 2012 and 2019 Jordan 11 Braves. It's a lot of differences, so stay tuned. The first thing we're going to go over are the boxes. Clearly the boxes are different. But the 2012 box is a lot larger. 2019 box completely hides behind it. And the reason it's larger is because of the accessories. Now let's go over to 2019 first. So when you open it up, you get a card with the trash bag paper, and that's it. And then just the shoes. With the 2012 version, first of all, the box kind of locks, so you gotta like really put a little oomph into it. And you get the insert, the famous insert. Take the insert out and you get paper that has signatures on it. Now, originally when I was younger, I thought that the signatures were like Jordan signatures, but they're not. I think his is on here, but it's a bunch of different signatures. And if I had to guess, it would probably be the whole Chicago Bulls teams, but I'm just speculating. I, I couldn't find information online. If you know, go ahead and comment below and let us know what these signatures are, but that's what you get with the 2012 box. All right, moving on to the shoes. Let's first start from the bottom. We're gonna work our way from the bottom to the top. And one thing that struck me with the 2019s, I, I, I didn't notice this immediately, but the 2019 has a checkered black and white carbon fiber pattern. But the 2012, they had this monochromatic gray and charcoal carbon fiber pattern, which to me looks a lot slicker. It's a lot less um, flamboyant. Maybe it doesn't stand out as much. And I kind of like the subtle hits to it. In addition to that, this carbon fiber has like a, uh, I don't know, it's, it has a texture. You can feel the carbon fiber. Whereas the 2019 feels mm, flat. I, I don't know what it is. But the 2012s, you can feel the weave of the carbon carbon fiber. But the 2012, you know, this almost just looks like it's a plastic plate. The next thing is the patent leather, which most people notice off the break. The 2019 has almost a whole half inch more of patent leather on the side of the shoe, which is truer to the original shoe, actually. But to me, looks, I don't know, I think I'm just used to the 2012. Over time, I'll likely get used to this and this will become a way of life. Uh, plus, the patent leather does look really nice. So, you know, you want more patent leather on the shoe, but. Uh, but yeah, so you get a lot more patent leather with the shoe. And this actually does something interesting to the shoe overall, which we'll get to later. Another thing with the patent leather, let's talk about the finishing. Now, on the 2019, you can see why the cut is not finished. Typically, when they cut leather, it's going to always be this kind of grayish white thing. But you, they usually dye it and they smooth it out to give it a nice clean finish like they did on the 2012. You can't see it, it's completely black. But on the 2019 model, uh, they didn't do that, so they left that unfinished, which to me, I'm not a big fan of that. Another thing with the patent leather that really can just, it can't show up on camera. The patent leather is actually thinner on the 2019 version. And this is, again, this is something you can only really see in person, especially because they finished the 2012 is a lot better. So this is thicker than the 2019s. And that's, again, just something you kind of can see in person, but it makes a difference when it comes to the overall finish of the shoe. This is clearly uh, has better materials than the 2019. And moving along, we're gonna move on to the upper finish here. You still have this mesh which they're pretty much the same, but when it comes to the synthetic leather here on the 2019, I'll kind of zoom in and see, see if you can see that. 
that there's a difference in the grain. The 2019 has more of a grainy look, which gives it a more authentic leather appearance, where on the 2012 it's a lot smoother, which of course gives it more of a synthetic leather look. And while we're right here, let's take a look at the Jumpman. On the 2019, the, the Jumpman, Jumpman uh, faces forward, whereas on the 2012, the Jumpman faces rear on the left shoe. Now on the right shoe uh, of the 2012 and 2019, the Jumpman faces forward, but on the left shoe, that is the difference. And originally, on the first pair of braids, the Jumpman faced forward. It was a whole big fuss about uh, the Jumpman being turned around when they started retro on the shoes, but yeah, so that's what you get with the 2012. In addition to the Jumpman, on the 2019, it is more integrated with the upper synthetic leather. When you rub your finger across it, it's flat. And there is a complete seamless finish to the Jumpman, but the threads are a lot looser on this one. On the 2012, you can almost, it almost showed up immediately on the camera. Well, it's a little blurry, but it almost showed up immediately on camera. But this look has more of a 3D appearance. It uh, appears to pop more, and that's because it does. It is raised off of the shoe, which again is a nice little detail uh, that you you know is going to come with having more uh, quality materials. The threads are also a lot tighter, but you don't get the same perfect Jumpman. To me, this Jumpman looks better as far as its form, but this one pops better off the shoe. I much rather prefer this one. Then you also see he has a little butt crack right there on the 2012. So, so yeah, so this one looks a lot better as far as finish goes, but overall, I enjoy the, the Jumpman that pops off the shoe. Moving on to the 23s in the, in the back, uh, they're different. <laughs> The 2019 uh, is just wider. It's wider, it looks bigger. There is more of a gap between the two and the three. On the 2012, uh, the lines are actually thicker, but it's still a little harder to distinguish between the two just because that gap is not really there. It is it's there a teeny bit, but from a distance you kind of really can't see it. Uh, but if you're familiar with the shoe, of course you know what the 23 is. But yeah, they are a little bit different. This this th appears to be wider only because the shoe is a little... I mean, this is a tighter shoe. It's, they're ne they've never been worn, so, you know, they kind of... They're tucked in right there. We're on the 2019, which is nothing I was about to get to. The shoe seems wider. So that could be the reason the 23 appears to have a wider appearance. Um, now, while we're here, you may notice that it seems like this shoe is taller, and that's because it is. I think the reason they made the 2019 shoe taller is to fit the extra patent leather there. What I'm interested in looking at is whether the, uh, was I think it was the 2016, the last time the Space Jams came out, the first time they started giving more patent leather on the 11s, uh, I wonder if that shoe is also taller than the um, previous Retro 11s. Moving away from the 23, let's talk about the tongue. Now, there's a huge difference in the tongue, and I hope it shows up. For my end, I, it's, it's already obvious, and, and it may be to you. So, everyone knows that on the tongue, it says Jumpman Jordan. Now... On the 2012 model, the Jumpman Jordan, along with the Jumpman in the middle, pops a whole lot more. And on the 2019, it just is not there. In fact, on the 2019 version, I'm going to zoom in, you can see that the Jumpman Jordan is, a, is pixelated. And the Jumpman itself just looks anorexic, where... Is on the 2012. It's a nice size jump man. It looks, uh, you know, fully formed. The lettering of the Jumpman Jordan is 
very white it's a lot more stitching it's not pixelated and it just pops off the shoe way better than the 2019. all right the last difference between the shoe uh, is the insole hey as you can see on the 2012 on the inside you have a red jump man uh whereas that was kind of the trend with all of them on the cool grays it was a gray jump man in there i think it was gray it was gray or white uh on the legends it was a blue jump man on the gammas it was a gold jump man so it's space jams a blue jump man so i like that attention to detail uh where they made the jump man on the, in the on the inside match the shoe itself on the 2019 version it just simply says nike air and that allows them to continue to reuse the same insole for all of the 11s so they don't have to you know spend as much money so the 2019 to me is very much so a shoe that was uh cost effective they cut a lot of corners uh as far as fit goes i really can't comment on that these are size nine and these are nine and a half and I wear a nine and a half. Now, in the 2012, the shoe ran a half size too small. So I actually wore a 10 in these. There's no way I'm going to put my foot in this and it'll feel good. So it's not a fair comparison. So I want to compare it to that. But I will say that these, the 2019s, fit true to size. They feel all right. I mean, they fit true to size, but there was a little discomfort up in this area for me. The more you wear them, I'm sure that'll go away, but I, I'm just, you know, I haven't worn these at all. I still have my 2012s that I rock and uh, in a size 10. And, you know, I don't wear shoes enough to really ever dog them all the way out. So I'd never get around to, <laughs> to actually wearing these. These are probably just going to go up for sale. Uh, some honorable mentions, though. Let's look at the toe box. Now, this is the 2019 version. The reason I, I say this is an honorable mention and I don't really want to say it's a huge difference is because this shoe is eight years old. Um, I found it in the back of my closet when we moved. I had no idea I had them. Uh, I don't know why I have them, but I, I do. And, uh, you know, over time, I do know that this was supposed to be opaque. And uh, over time, it just could have gotten clear. We know with Jordan 11s, the soles always do weird things over time. They're usually yellow, but since these are red, I don't know, maybe they just kind of became a little translucent. The 2019s are opaque, and maybe this was opaque a long time ago. I don't know, I, so I can't really compare. And that's it. Those are all the differences between the 2012 and 2019 Jordan 11 breads. I was just kind of going through comparing them myself and when i realized there were so many differences i just thought man i had to make a video about it to let all you guys know the differences between the two so if you are in the market for them you know which ones to kind of sh to shop for me personally as you can probably tell from the video i'm more biased towards the 2012 mainly just because of the quality of materials the finished patent leather the uh, high quality stitching on the tongue and the jump man though he has a pop belly and a butt crack uh, I still enjoy the 3d effect that it gives when it pops off of the shoe so hopefully this video was helpful uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys next time